again, everybody. Bo James here with another big episode of Southern States Rice. I want to kick the program off with a couple of thank yous here. I want to thank everybody that came out on July 6th to our big doubleheader event, Village Fest at Calvary Baptist Church. Thanks for coming out, making that a big success. Thanks to everybody that came out to the Appalachian Fairgrounds that night for Summer Bash 2019, part of the Gray Block Party. Huge event there. You're going to be able to watch the Summer Bash 2019 on the Southern States Wrestling Network coming up in the month of August, so make sure you check it out because it was a great wild night of Southern States Wrestling action. Now I want to talk to you about an upcoming event. Sunday night, August 11th, Downtown Kingsport Model City Event Center, 201 East Center Street. The event is going to be a special benefit, and it's not just a wrestling match. We're going to have a big auction before the matches. Auction off memorabilia donated by the WWE, Dr. Tom Pritchard, Tracy Smothers, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Lawler, and several other legends. And then we're going to have a huge, a huge night of action. And it's to benefit a family deeply rooted in East Tennessee wrestling history. I'm talking about the family of Don Wright and Sandy Wright, his wife, who from another tragedy a few years ago had been raising five of their grandchildren. They lost a home there in Bristol. They lost all their belongings. And we're going to help them get back up on their feet, help them get going. Sunday night, August the 11th, doors open at 5.30. Special meet and greet with some surprise legends going to be there about 6.15. And then the auction starts at 6.30. Going to be telling you more about it on upcoming episodes. And then that night at 7.15, a huge night of action. We're going to get through the matches and get you home and get the kids in bed early so they can get back to school that night, but it's going to be a big night. Sunday night, August 11th. Now, let's take our first break, get it out of the way so you can see what's new on the Southern States Wrestling Network. Then we're going to come back with some news from Summer Bash.
There you saw the upcoming events. Don't forget about Saturday, Sunday. Make that Sunday. August the 11th, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee, Model City Event Center, right next door to WKPT TV and radio. The event is a benefit for Don and Sandy Wright and their family who lost their home to a fire. It's going to be a huge night, so make your plans now to be there. It's going to be a great night of Southern States wrestling action. What else was a great night of Southern States wrestling action? Summer Bash 2019. And I've got to give Lemon Juice credit. I've got to give Dan Richards credit. Oh, I don't want to. And I've got to give the Mega Destroyer and Sean Cruz credit because the Legion of Lemon left the Appalachian Fairgrounds with all the gold, all the titles in Southern States Wrestling. What I want to do now is go back and show you some raw footage to see how Dan Richards first won the Southern States Heavyweight title and how many men had helped him to get the job done. Then we're going to hear some words that were recorded right after Summer Bash from Lemon Juice McGee and his boys. <laughs> SSW Tag Team Champions, Sean Cruz, the Mega Destroyer, and still the SSW Heavyweight Champion in one progressive liberal, Daniel Richards, and me, Lemon Juice McGee, the rightful, the rightful winner of the Battle Royal. We've got it all. We've got all the gold, all the charisma, all the skill, everything. Everything Southern States Wrestling has been missing for so long. And you people, you people count yourself lucky that you get to see it because there's nobody that can take it away from us. Well, there you heard from the champion, the Legion of Lemon. And you heard Lemon Juice claim to be the winner of the Battle Royal. He's talking about Summer Bash 2019. He can claim all that he wants to, that he won the Battle Royal. That's not the truth. And you'll get to see on the Southern States Wrestling Network here just in a few weeks exactly what happened during the Battle Royal. Speaking of the network, let's take our last break right here and show you all about the Southern States Wrestling Network. Then we're going to come back with a big main event, Sean Cruz versus Frank the Tank Parker.
All right, wrestling fans, Bell is underway. All-Star Wrestling featuring the stars of Southern States Wrestling here at the Carroll County Fair, Hillsville, Virginia. My name is Joe Wheeler. I'll be calling the action for you in this contest as we've got Frank the Tank Parker in control of Sean Cruz in your left-hand corner there. Nice clean break by Frank the Tank Parker, and uh, Cruz is complaining of a hair pull. Seriously. <laughs> Should be a tremendous matchup here. Frank the Tank Parker, of course, a very wily, experienced veteran competitor who is now quite the fan favorite, especially here in his home state of Virginia. And Sean Cruz, I've said it before, I'll say it again about Sean Cruz. He'll do absolutely anything to win a match. Pretty much anything. He'll break any rule that you lay down. He'll do anything, it doesn't matter, to win a match. Um, like right now, he's complaining and carrying on with the official and trying to bias the official. But uh, Frank the Tank Parker, he's fighting on the clean side of the rule book, at least for the most part. You know, situations do arise, but um, he certainly isn't perpetrating some of the dirty deeds that we have seen him do before here in Southern States Wrestling. No question about that. As uh, Sean Cruz now is caught in a side headlock position here by Frank the Tank Parker. As the great crowd on hand here at Hillsville, Virginia. Carroll County Fair watches as Frank shows him right there why they call him the tank. A big shoulder block right there. Yeah, Frank's not a guy that you want to get shoulder blocked or power slammed or bear hugged by. He is a big man and he knows how to take care of business in that ring. Years of experience. And a tremendous competitor, no question about that. Sean Cruz is locked up collar and elbow. Frank took him in his arm bar position now, got him winding up on that arm. Cruz quickly makes his way back to his feet. He's threatening to throw a punch. And go ahead, throw a punch, because Frank's going to throw one right back at you even harder. Frank's working on that arm now with a couple shots there, keeping cinched in and positioned on that arm bar of Sean Cruz as he's got him. Back into the corner here. Cruz, a couple cheap shots right there in the corner. As Sean Cruz now trying to mount some offense against Frank. Frank reverses and caught him right there. Big clothesline. Frank to Tank Parker taking care of business as always. Here in Southern States Wrestling fans. And we hope you're enjoying this network exclusive. Southern States Wrestling Network exclusive right here. Frank Parker versus Sean Cruz from Hillsville, Virginia, and um, tremendous action, as always, here with Southern States Wrestling fans. We're glad you tuned in, turned on, and checking us out here on the SSW Network, as uh, so much history, so many great matches, so many memories of all the great years, as uh, Sean Cruz and referee having some words there. Frank just wants to wrestle. <laughs> you know, he's just, come on. As uh, referee's definitely got his hands full with these two in this matchup. No question about that. As they've locked up collar and elbow once again. Frank has Cruz back into the corner here. Probably going to get a clean break. Let's see what happens. Frank, uh, he did. Bro oh, come on. Cruz right there. Caught him with a cheap shot. See, that's the type of thing that would discourage Frank Parker from wrestling scientifically in a, in a proper fashion is when he gets caught with a cheap shot like that by a guy like Sean Cruz when he broke clean and Cruz took advantage of it. But uh, nice hip toss right there by Frank. Frank waiting on him, going right in on work on that arm as uh, Frank's keeping it clean, at least at this point in the match. You know, that's the thing that Sean Cruz has got to realize. I mean going to poke the bear one time too many and the bear's going to explode on you. <laughs> you don't want Frank Parker to explode on you. Let me tell you, I've seen it happen and uh, it's not good. But <laughs> Cruz now doing all he can. He's got that knee sunk in the back of Frank Parker. Got a chin lock on him. Pulling back on the head and neck while planting that knee right squarely between those shoulder blades. Applying a ton of pressure to the vertebrae in the neck area of Frank the Tank Parker. Frank realizes I gotta get out of here, so he's turning now. 
He's going to make his way back up to a vertical base, I'm sure. Caught him right there with a the back elbow and a second one. And Cruz right there, he just shoved him down. It looked like he pulled his T-shirt. Cruz in for a cover. He got a one count only on that. Frank now, oh, he punched him right in the ear right there. Short rabbit, I call him a rabbit punch. Just a short, quick punch like that. Caught him with it right in the ear. And that'll certainly throw your vertigo and equilibrium off. Get y'all dizzy headed. Cruz now continuing to apply that chin lock on Frank the Tank Parker. Referee's got to watch him, make sure he doesn't slide into a chokehold. Because I'm sure Mr. Cruz would love to take away some of the oxygen from the tank. Sean Cruz continuing to cinch down and apply pressure on that chin lock. On Frank the Tank Parker, Frank's back up to a vertical base here. As Frank now catches him with a couple shots there. Into the ropes they go. Caught him right there. Cruz did with that forearm coming off the ropes there. And Sean Cruz caught him right there with a big punch. And Frank now firing back. Frank's not just going to sit there and take it. No doubt about it. He's going to fire back on him. And Sean Cruz right there, that was an absolute dirty, it goes right back to what I said earlier about he'll do anything at all to win a match. He was ripping, tugging, poking, gouging right at the eyes of Frank the Tank Parker on that one. And he looks like he's doing the same thing here again, got him draped across that second rope. Sean Cruz showing his desperation here at this point, just trying anything he can to try to ground Frank the Tank Parker try to catch any sort of advantage that he can on him. Cruz now making his way up. He's on that second rope here. Frank's still blinded. But he wasn't blinded to that. He rolled out right out of the way of that leg drop. Now's the time. Frank realizes now's the time. He needs to turn this match around, get things going at his advantage. Hard right hand and a second right from the top of the head. Frank Parker opening up here in a series of shots on Cruz. Got him cinched up here. Big vertical suplex there by Frank the Tank Parker. Frank Parker now moving in on Cruz. Got him into the ropes here. Coming off. Catches him right there with a high backdrop. As Sean Cruz now on the receiving end of a lot of punishment. Frank definitely has turned this match to his advantage. As Frank now Working him over in the ropes. Referee's on him for that because they are tied up in the turnbuckle area. But what is Sean Cruz up to? It looks like, look like he's up to something over there. He's got a foreign object. He does indeed have an object. He just put it back in his tights. Oh, come on. Don't let it in this way. As Sean Cruz utilized the foreign object here, there you saw another controversial win from Lemon Juice McGee's right hand man, Sean Cruz, one half of the tag team champions. Without a doubt, he went into his jacket and got something. Without a doubt, he had something in his hand. There's no way. Trust me, I know. I've hit Frank Parker with everything I have, and you got to hit him with something to keep the man down. But that's all right, because sooner or later, Sean Cruz, Mega Destroyer, Lemon Juice, Dan Richards, all you guys are going to get what's coming to you. Now, right here on the next episode, we're going to update you on some recent events happening here in Southern States Wrestling. We're going to talk more about Sunday night, August the 11th. It's going to be a huge night downtown Kingsport, Tennessee, a benefit for Don and Sam. Andy Wright family. Hope you make plans to be there. Hope you're there ringside. It's going to be a tremendous historic night for Southern States Wrestling. Until next time, this is Bo James saying bye-bye from the Volunteer State.